So, uh, so writing's a very introspective process for me. And working on tonight's show, it, it really brought me face to face with a, with a darkness inside myself. But looking around the room, this strikes me as exactly the kind of safe, supportive, non-judgmental environment for me to come out in. <laughs> I'll take it. So, uh, uh, the confession I'd like to make tonight is... I am. You, you know where this is going. It, it's going to be hard. This is, this is actually harder than I thought. Um, I just got to say it. I just got to say it. Uh, my name is Philip Lowe, and I like Sarah Palin. Oh, which I know, I know, I know, but you know, hear me out, because I, because I, I swear I have good reasons. See, I actually got to know her, you know, a few years back. I was visiting a friend of mine up in Wasilla, and I got to know her, and by got to know her, of course, I mean that I got to know her in the biblical sense. See, I, I, uh, I was out drinking late one night, and it was careening toward closing time when I was suddenly aware of what seemed to be the quintessential sexy librarian nuzzling against my anconius muscle. In an uncharacteristic burst of chivalry, I offered her a ride home. She accepted. So we're veering wildly across the frozen tundra when she notices the stacks of economic literature scattered across my back seat. Oh, so you read Frederick Hayek, she inquired, slurring her speech slightly. Why, yes, I said, I find some of his theory to be a bit idealistic, but I think for the most part he articulated a remarkably complete system of thought. As I said this, her eyes closed and she shuddered briefly. Are, are you all right, I asked. Yeah, she murmured throatily, yes, I'm fine. I just, I like hearing you talk about economics. <laughs> she blushed girlishly and lowered her eyes. I, I know you'll probably think this a silly request, she said, but would you mind if we just pulled over for a few moments and you maybe just read me some of it? I shrugged. I have far too little self-respect to say no to anything an attractive woman asks, so I pulled off near a snowbank and began to read. Though the conception of a value to society is sometimes carelessly used even by economists, there is strictly no such thing, and the expression implies the same sort of anthropomorphism or personification of society as the term social justice. I trailed off. As I couldn't stop myself from staring, her lips were twitching and her whole body shuddered as though she were being stroked by the invisible hand of Adam Smith. Within moments, we were entangling our limbs in the back seat, pressing her naked back into a pile of ink and paper. Frantically, I groped after both her milky white flesh and whatever conservative economic theory I could think of. As often happens to me in the moment of passion, Milton Friedman appeared in my mind. The kind of economic organization that provides economic freedom directly, namely competitive capitalism, also promotes political freedom because it separates economic power from political power and in this way enables the one to offset the other. She leaned into me and I could feel her hot breath against my ear. I want you to eat me, she whispered. I want you to eat me like you're an angry Alaskan grizzly and I'm Timothy Treadwell. I knelt before her like Karl Marx's proletariat beneath the yoke of the state and buried my face between her creamy thighs, slurping and smacking hungrily at her already moistened genitalia like a feast of rotted octopus. I pulled away with an audible pop, my face just caked in vaginal mucus. Now, why don't we switch places so you can redistribute the wealth? <laughs> you can relax, that's as bad as it gets. I'm completely lying to you, that is not as bad as it gets. <laughs> it did happen. I do not slander from this stage. So I, oh God, where was I? Vaginal mucus pulled away, pop, there we go. She, 
She knelt before me with a wicked grin and breathed, just don't stop talking. Whatever you do, just don't stop talking, and swallowed my manhood. I scrambled desperately through the darkened corners of my memory until I couldn't take it anymore. I grabbed her by the hair and said, now bend over, and I will do to you what the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries wants to keep the federal government from doing to the state of Alaska. I appreciate the spirit behind the applause. <laughs> uh, before I could say I certify that I do not believe in or advocate the initiation of force as a means of achieving political or social goals, she was already on her hands and knees, wiggling her future gubernatorial assets in my general direction. Never one to say no to an open invitation, I grabbed her by the hips and thrust myself deep into her brown Stink star. <laughs> drill, baby, drill, she shrieked. But something was wrong. <laughs> Just now, something was wrong. I was running out of economic literature I could recall off the top of my head. And then, in between the repeating advances of her shuddering shoulders, I saw a copy of a book I'd forgotten. In relief, I said, now I'm going to recite to you from Ludwig von Mises' classical text entitled Liberalism. Liberalism, she paused, interrupting our rhythm for an agonizing moment. No, 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 I said, it, it's a text about classical liberalism. See, what we call liberalism today used to be called, what we call fiscal conservatism today used to be called liberalism before the meaning of those terms shifted. Huh, she said. She didn't resume her rhythm. Panicked, I started to recite, uh, liberalism proclaims tolerance for every religious faith and every metaphysical belief, not out of indifference for these higher things, but from the conviction that the assurance of peace within society must take precedence over everything and everyone. She still wasn't moving. <laughs> Worse, after this period of interruption, I could feel my penis growing flaccid inside her. This was it. I had to find some way to reach her, some way to get her excited again, or the whole thing would be a bust. And then, as though from a kind of divine revelation, the words appeared in my head. The annual revenue of a society is always precisely equal to the exchangeable value of the whole annual produce of its industry, or rather is precisely the same thing with said exchangeable value. Slowly, 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 hesitantly, she started to move again. Soon she was bucking wildly. I could barely hang on, gritting my teeth with a randy, ein randy and determination. I kept talking. As every individual, therefore, endeavors as much as he can both to employ his capital in the support of domestic industry and so to direct that industry that its produce may be of the greatest value, every individual necessarily labors to render the annual revenue of the society as great as he can. I'm finished, she gasped. I'm finished. You can finish any time. Get on your knees, I said. Just keep talking, she groaned. Whatever you do, just don't stop talking. He generally, indeed, neither intends to promote the public interest, nor knows how much he is promoting it. And in a welter of flying semen, silicone, and Adam Smith, my body spasmed, and her rimless Kazuo Kawasaki glasses were coated in my sausage sauce. Yeah, you can use that if you want, no charge. The two of us collapsed together and she wrapped her arms around me, cooing softly. Is there any last thought you want to leave me with? She whispered in my ear. I took a deep breath. By pursuing the support of domestic rather than foreign industry, he intends only his own security. And by directing that industry in such a manner that its produce may be of the greatest value, he intends only his own gain. And he is in this as in many other cases led by an invisible hand to promote an end which was no part of his intention. It was a complicated idea, but I think that she absorbed most of its implications before passing out in a pool of her own vomit. Which is why I'm pleased to announce my endorsement of Sarah Palin for president in 2016, because, yeah, because you know, you know that whoever gets elected is gonna fuck you over, so why not vote for someone you actually want to get fucked by? Understand.